Hey everyone, Badish and Brainy here. And to get to your video manager for YouTube, you go to Chrome. So I'm using my phone and I went to Chrome. Then at the very top in the website bar, I typed in youtube.com and pressed enter so that I can go to the homepage. And then the three dots to the top, I pressed my channel and that took me to the home page for my channel the dashboard then i pressed customize channel and then i saw the video manager right to the top is so that you can edit your videos you can add end cards and it's easier to see it in this way versus the youtube studio so it is the studio but on the web page you can see all your videos in one place let's say i want to go to one of my videos to edit it uh they're all right here so i click edit i can see the views everything um and then in this layout i could add i could add it to whatever category i can make it public i could schedule it I can add an end screen, add my description, and everything is just here, very clean cut. This way it's much easier to edit your video and just have everything all in one place. Now, let's say for example, I go to the YouTube studio. Oh, and I just wanna make sure that you guys have it in your desktop site because as a desktop site, it's easier to see all these different pieces of um, information for the video. And it still looks really good on your phone. But let's say I want to go to the YouTube studio. Things are a lot different. It does work even if you don't click the desktop site. I have gotten it to work like that before. And I did try it again and it did work. But just to be safe, just click those three bars to the top and do the uh, desktop site. So now going to the YouTube studio you will see that things are a little bit different. So here I click the YouTube studio and the layout is completely different. So here's where I click the videos. All my videos are in one place. Now my subscriber count is a lot higher over here versus, you know, the other place. It's, it's, everything is very different in YouTube studio versus how it is on the web page. And I don't know why, but Hey, so let's say I want to edit my videos in the YouTube studio, the app. The app, of course, is going to be different versus the website, as I just said. And all my videos are here in one page. But let's say I click a video because now I want to edit it. So I'm going to go back to that same video, uh, becoming a personal trainer. And you can see it's a lot different. The view count is a lot different. And now as I click edit as well, uh, I don't have the option to add the end cards here. I cannot make, like I can't schedule it. I can still see that it's public, but I can't really schedule the video to be published at a certain time. And the advanced settings are still a lot limited in the YouTube Studio app. So to me, the easier way to edit the video, as you see before, was on the YouTube page where everything was all there. And that was a little bit easier to edit. So I can also go to my analytics here a little bit easier on the app studio or the studio app and it's good to see that the retention for this video is at least seven minutes uh, long for watching this video so that was pretty good I could scroll down and see uh, the likes the, the dislikes you know how much I'm getting paid I'm not monetized yet so yeah <laughs> um, even though you have a certain amount of subscribers you also have to have a certain amount of watch hours within a certain time and okay, so with the studio, you see everything was right there, uh, your analytics, your dashboard, everything like that. So if this video was helpful in any way, please make sure you subscribe now and put a thumbs up. Bye.